How's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here and welcome to another review of the Boruto anime. I'm going to be covering episode 163 today, which I thought was a pretty interesting episode, at least more interesting than the last few episodes. But anyways, before I get on to the review, if you like this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe as I've been covering the Korra actuation arc since it started, and I will continue to do so. Anyways, let's get on to that review, shall we? So the episode begins where last week's episode ended off at, in which Boruto and the others were getting attacked by shinobi, shinobi that were hiding in the trees. Turns out that they're Cloud Shinobi, led by Amui. Yeah, remember that guy Amui from the Fourth Great War? I always kind of liked his character, even though he wasn't, he didn't contribute a whole lot to the series. But anyways, um, they're asking Boruto and the others whether they're responsible for the murder that happened in the Land of Silence, and if they have the Hashirama cells. Before any conflict could start, Konohamaru and Majino intervene, and they come to an understanding, but uh, Amui, I, he's still the same after all these years, still getting lost in his thoughts and, you know, thinking about the worst case scenario all the time. I don't know, I always liked that quirk about this guy. That was funny, but then they come to the conclusion after Konohamaru shows the poison kunai that uh, Lady Sakia or whatever her name is, uh, got poisoned with, um, they determine that these shinobi are from the land of Haze, and they need to get to them pretty quickly, because if they cross the, um, country borders, uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to pursue them anymore, otherwise they'll be wanted criminals in a bingo book. Probably not a good thing for, uh, Boruto and the others to get labeled as, and for Naruto to have to deal with eventually. Meanwhile, Deep over here, he heads into the castle, and basically there's a bunch of people in there that are stealing all the treasures in the castle, and Deepa literally just murders everybody, and he wants to know where the Hashirama cells are there. And eventually he gets the information he needs and finds out that Hidden Leaf Shinobi potentially have it, but he kills those people anyways because it's Deepa. And wow, I gotta say, uh, pretty. I like the fact that uh, they're showing off Deepa pretty well here, how he just doesn't care, he'll just kill whoever. Pretty good uh, introduction for a character that's part of Kara that's not in the manga, I'd say. You also have those shinobi from the Haze Village. They're kind of walking around. They can't go too fast because the Hashirama cell will get too unstable if they go too fast. Turns out they have a mission to get the Hashirama cell. But I'm wondering if there's something more noble than, you know, we think about these guys. Even though they've been pretty uh, bad in framing Boruto and the others for the murder and doing some pretty bad stuff in order to get the Hashirama cells. I'm wondering if this is for the greater good for their village. Maybe there's like a misunderstanding here, but it seems like uh, they're trying to do something to help their village out. But anyways, um, one of them ends up staying behind so that the other two can keep going to their country so they can hold off Boruto and the others if they catch up. And as Boruto and the others and the Cloud Shinobi are heading off to pursue the Haze Shinobi, they end up running into Deepa. And, uh, Deepa doesn't want to even introduce himself, so he's planning on just killing them all there. The Cloud Ninja decide to stay behind and face off against him, while Boruto and the others head off to the Land of Haze, or before the other shinobi get to the Land of Haze. Anywho, um, Deepa, wow, I gotta say, I was actually pretty impressed with him here. This guy, he doesn't even use any weapons, he just fights with his fists, and he basically can take out people with one hit. And uh, the Cloud Ninja kind of learned this the hard way, so they try going off against them and they're struggling. But they try to, they, they get a pretty good strategy here where they trick them and Deepa's running off and they end up, uh, it seems like they're about ready to stab him in the back, all three of them. Or attack him from, the, from behind. But it turns out that's just a lightning attack which shocks Deepa. But despite seemingly being damaged from this, Deepa seems to be unharmed because he takes out two of the Cloud Shinobi, leaving Amui on his own to face him. And no matter what Amui does, he just can't defeat this guy. He can't do anything to phase Deepa. And he's having his inner thought crisis again. <laughs> but um, we don't know if uh, Amui got... I don't think he's dead because he's in the manga upcoming, so there's no way he got killed here. But there's, I don't think there's any way he w could have stood a chance against Deepa. And I think this was a good thing too because... Um, we need to make sure our inner members and in car are actually, you know, shown to be very well capable and strong on their own. That, especially since uh, a certain person gave uh, Naruto some, a little bit of trouble in the future in the manga. But we'll get into that when the time comes. But yeah, Amui is unfortunately seemingly taken out. And then the episode pretty much comes to an end with Boruto and the others. They're running and they end up running into the one... 
Paige Shinobi that stayed behind to face off against them. And they'll be fighting him in the next episode with a forbidden jutsu used. So, with all that being said, um, I will say that I found this episode to be slightly more enjoyable than the last two episodes. I think the, like, the biggest problem with this car actuation arc, ever since this uh, new mission started with Boruto and the others, is that it's just it just feels like it's just dragging. That's the problem with this arc. It just feels like we're just taking forever to get to the end goal of this arc. And... I mean, Deepa was very entertaining in this episode. It was probably the best part of the parts in the episode were with Deepa. I like the advancement of the story there. But, like, everything else, it's just like they're pursuing these guys. They're just running and running and <laughs> running, you know? And, yeah, it just it, it just feels like it's dragging on. But I will say the best part of the episode is definitely Deepa. And it, in this episode, it goes to show that this guy's no joke. Like, he's punching people and literally killing them in one hit. So this guy is very powerful, as we can see. And he took out the Cloud uh, Shinobi like it was nothing. Nothing Amui was doing to him was phasing him. So this guy is no joke. And I like the fact that the series is showing that. Now the question is, how is Boruto and the others going to face off against this guy? If they end up facing him off in the future, which I think is definitely going to happen. Because this guy is shown to be very powerful. they got to come up with a pretty good strategy to take him down, but... If he gets taken down in this arc by Boruto and Team 7, I mean, Konarmer and Magino are going to be there to assist too, but it's got to be written in a way that makes sense. I don't want this to be like Urshiki all over again that's just poorly written, so I hope that uh, Deepa is written well. I hope I hope his defeat, if he gets defeated here, is written well. But I do think uh, if Boruto and the others aren't able to finish him off, I think another member of Kara might be taking him out, wink, wink, hint, hint. But just saying... I just want it to be written well, and hopefully it is. So that's all I got for this video. So this episode, I'd say it's uh, decent to good, so maybe like a 7 out of 10, maybe 6.5 out of 10. Around there, I, maybe a 7, just because Deepa was very entertaining this episode. How about that? Anyways, um, what did you guys out there think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later for the Pokemon Journeys review. Stay safe out there, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.